Hello Taurus placements, how are you? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your next 48 reading. So let's see what's going on with you. What do you need to know for the next 48? Alrighty. Taurus placements, what do you need to know for the next 48? What do you need to know for the next 48? Oh, apparently you need to know a lot. You have the Page of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Empress, and the Knight of Coins. Okay. Hmm. You need to know that you are growing at a fast pace for some of you. You could live in a house where it's three generations, like you, you can have your mother or your father, your child, and then it's you, you know, so that's three generations. I'm not supposed to be telling you this. I feel like it's a secret, but it looks like this empress has been praying for whoever this knight of coins, queen of wands, and page of cups is. And it, someone is doing angelic or white magic in your favor. Or this could just be a loved one's prayers. You know, wishing the best for you. Asking God for blessings to like fall down on you. Roses, lilies, and daisies could be significant. Someone could have a lucky coin that they keep with them or, or talk about. Someone's trying to like manifest abundance into your life. This could be from the divine with the empress here. It is a major arcana. Some of you could be Catholic or have like your family could, could come from, you know, a Catholic religion. Well, Catholic religion. Yeah. Someone here could have a link to the angels or even the Virgin Mary herself. But someone is praying for you. To, someone's praying to bless you. I see someone health improving. They're able, they, they're able to have more stamina and get a lot more done from a physical standpoint. You're going to get good news in regards to a child or a grandchild as well. It could be involving school or some type of accolade that helps them in their career in the future. But I, it's a lot of blessings coming towards you that are manifesting like even at this very moment because of a mother's love, a, a, a divine love towards you, someone praying for you and their prayers are heard. Whoever this is, they are already like connected. They pray for you. Someone's about to pass, pass the torch to you. Nine of swords and the eight of swords in reverse. So this empress knows that you could be going through a lot or you could be this empress knowing that someone else is going through a lot and you're offering a helping hand. Someone could be going through anxiety with their child, you know, going through some type of karmic cycle. You're, you're being protected from the consequences of another person's uh, actions. This could involve a Leo, a Tor another Taurus, a Libra, a Capricorn, a Gemini. Yeah, or Aries. Very interesting reading. It's so different from what I picked up for Aries. Okay, what else can Taurus placements look forward to for the next 48? What else can Taurus placements look forward to for the next 48?
risk, some type of risk paying off involving money and you getting your fair share of something. Yeah. Saturn and Aries. What is that about? Saturn and Aries. A justified risk taken to provoke new possibilities, a sudden regretted action after a long about concentrated and patient work. Uh, pushing oneself into a position of power through intense work. Hmm. Let me clarify this because I know I understand what it's saying, but I need to know what it's taken into consideration that it says a regretted action taken, you know, due to it was due to it being done impulsively. I want to know, like, what's that about? Enthusiasm, sun and Sagittarius. This could involve an Aries, a Capricorn, or a Leo or Sagittarius. You could have these placements in your chart. But in the next 48 hours, someone could try to take a risk that's unethical and it backfires. Somebody here is protected. And whoever has like bad intentions they won't get close to this person and they may end up restricting themselves in some way, possibly jail. There could be somebody around you towards placements that's struggling, that may try to like do something to like scam money out of you or to take something from you. Because they feel like it's justified in some way. Why do they feel like this is justified? Inheritance. They feel like you owe them. But with Saturn and, and Scorpio, that can be considered sneaky energy that's only justified to them because they're entitled. So whoever this is, they may not be in the right state of mind. They could be a Scorpio. but they won't be able to do it. There's a horse inside of a maze. Actually, is that a horse? No. It looks like it's a fox or a lion inside of a maze. So whoever is trying to like scam or plot against someone for money or whatever, they won't know where to start or where to end it. They, they won't know how to successfully like go about doing it because this person is protected. So Taurus cross watcher, be careful. You got somebody here that may try to like take something from you financially speaking. What else can Taurus placements expect in the next 48? A successful leader who will produce work. Staying focused. What is, what is this? A successful leader who will produce. This could be someone that you report to stepping up and presenting you an opportunity or you as a leader yourself taking advantage of an opportunity and it become and it being fruitful. rebellion and enthusiasm again sun and sagittarius and you got mars and aquarius hmm you got jealousy here you could already be stable or you appear that way and people are already like wanting what's yours wanting what you've worked for i don't like it it could be an aries sagittarius leo or an aquarius you can have those placements in your chart as well. But again, look what's at the bottom of the deck. You have uh, Mars and Pisces for escape. 
The divine is not going to let someone with bad intentions get close to you. I, I don't see it happening. But someone will try, so be mindful of that. Last message. What can Taurus placements expect for the next 48? Ace of Wands, a new start. A lot of energy to get stuff done, too. It'll require you, you know, making moves and taking action. But um, you'll have the energy and the resources to finish whatever it is that you start. You have the Seven of Coins. Yep, you investing, building, waiting on something. And the higher font. This is good news. This is good news. You're learning. You, you're mastering something that, that benefits you from a longevity uh, standpoint with the Seven of Coins here. Can you clarify the Seven of Coins? The High Priestess. This is something that everybody ain't, isn't supposed to know about, too. You could be intuitive. People want to know how you know what you know. You got someone's going to make an offer, whether you're intuitive or not. Someone's going to make an offer. You got people observing you for different reasons. Some people want to observe you. Some people are observing you to see how they could scam you or manipulate you out of something, more than likely money or sex with the Ace of Wands. Other people admire you and want to work with you or learn something from you and build with you. What about the people that want to build with Taurus? Page of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Empress. Yeah. Yeah. I see you building something successful, whether it's business. Seems like it's more business and platonic, but it could turn into something romantic, but I'm just not seeing it right now. With the Page of Wands here and the Queen of Swords, it seems lighthearted. And the relationship or opportunity, it, it, it grows over time into something very fruitful. The Empress is someone that's very abundant. What about the people that mean towards no good? The Tower and the Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, it's all bad. Whoever is trying to like come up off of somebody else or on some type of bullshit, they will not get far. We got Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, uh, Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. Yeah, they won't get far. They will not get far at all. But that's what I got for you. Give me a kiss. Mwah. I hope you enjoyed your read and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.